Hi, if you're here because you want to improve your English accent and be able to understand authentic British language, you've come to the right place. I've written this short story using authentic language and conversation that you won't find anywhere else, not even in a course book. You will be able to read and listen and be able to identify how words sound when they're linked together. Of course, this is in an authentic British way, so you may never have heard them sound this way before. Plus, you will learn lots of modern, up-to-date phrases and expressions. But wait, just so you can consolidate that, I have written a worksheet that you can download, just so that you can go over them again. But don't forget, you can listen as many times as you like. The Lane, Episode 2, Fairy Glen a series of short stories about English life. Written by Liz Plampton. It's a beautiful summer's day, so Robert and Jenny decide to go for a walk. Lovely day for a walk, Jen. Yeah, I love it up here. You can see for miles. Trees, fields and the sea, right on your doorstep. Feel that breeze. I can smell the sea, Robert. I really can. Can you? Nah. It's those sheep you can smell, Jen. Look, over there in the field. Oh, yes. Don't they look lovely? <coughs> Shut <coughs> up, Robert. <coughs> You'll scare them. <coughs> Robert. Oh. Watch out, I can see some people coming towards us. Move to the side, Robert. All right, all right, there's plenty of time. You can't be too careful these days with the coronavirus. Anyway, it's courteous, Robert. Everyone does it now, with social distancing rules. Not everyone, Jen, as you well know. There's always one that flouts the rules. Think they can do what they like. It's irresponsible and selfish. Shh, Robert. Put your mask up. Morning. Morning. He didn't look happy. A smile would have been nice. So, which were we walking today, Jen? I thought we could walk down to Fairy Glen. It's always nice there at this time of year. Yeah. But the wild garlic and bluebells will be gone by now. Well, we haven't been there for a while. It'll make a nice change. Oh, look, here come the neighbours. Oh, yeah, it's Trevor and Sue. Clever Trevor. They're probably on their way back from the nudist beach. Hmm, I expect so. I see him walk past most mornings with his rucksack on his back. Regular as clockwork. Sue doesn't go then. Haven't noticed. But he's not the only one. There's a whole convoy of them that walk past about four o'clock in the afternoon. All with rucksacks. Oh yes, I've seen them. That's to catch the sunset, Robert. Do you think so, Jen? Never thought so many men were into watching the sunset. Perhaps you should try it, Robert. Get in touch with your feminine side. What down on that nudist beach? You must be joking. Why not? Not me. Not my cup of tea, Jen. Morning, Trevor. Morning, Sue. Morning. Lovely day again. Yes, perfect. You've got a lovely tan, Trevor. Oh, thank you. I am a bit of a sun worshipper. Mmm, I can see that. <laughs> You're looking very fit as well, Sue. Oh, thank you, Robert. I try my best. It's all the gardening we do. It's non-stop at the moment. Yeah, I often see you out there and you're at home 
Well, we'd better get on. Yes, me too. I'm hoping to get back before I bump into Kim and Sharon. Oh? It's not them so much, Jenny. It's that great big Alsatian dog of theirs. Jumps right up at you, then starts sniffing you in the most personal places. Most embarrassing. It's just being friendly, Trevor. Yes, but you can never be too careful, can you? No, Trevor, you can't. Well, you better hurry then. Yep, bye now. Come on, Jen. Let's get a move on before someone else we know comes up the path. Listen, Robert. Can you hear that bird song? Oh, yeah. That's loud. Yeah, lovely, though. Look, it's coming from up there in that tree. Just over there. Oh, yes. I can see it. It's a thrush, Robert. Yeah, that's right. It's the lesser spotted variety, Jen. Haven't seen one of those for ages. It's the air. It's much cleaner since lockdown. I've noticed lots of different kinds of birds recently. Yeah, won't last though, Jen. It's only a matter of time before it all goes back to the way it was. Look, Robert, look. There are some of those cows with the white stripe around their tummy. Don't they look beautiful? So gentle. Yeah, very docile, Jen. They are known as the Bilted Galloway variety, often nicknamed Bilties or even Oreo cows due to their peculiar resemblance to the popular treat. Yes, Robert, the Oreo biscuit. I remember you telling me that last time. Come on, let's have a closer look. They're standing at the gate. Hello, Mr Belty. Give him some grass, Jen. He's chewing the cud, Robert. Yes, I can see that. But he might want some more, Jen. No, Robert. He's chewing the cud. That means he's already eaten the grass and now this is his way of digesting it a bit later on. It's a bit like when you get indigestion. But instead of taking a rennie, you chew it a bit more and swallow it. Are you sure? Yes, Robert. Oh, I'll have to Google that. Hold on. Yes, yes, you are in fact correct, Jenny. I know, Robert. In fact, to chew the cud is an idiomatic expression which means to contemplate or to be in deep thought about something. Yes, well, I did know that, Jenny. Hmm. Oh, breathe it in, Robert. Breathe in that wonderful smell of the farmyard. You mean cow dung? Yes, I love that smell. Takes me right back to my childhood. Come on, Jen. Best foot forward. If you walk a bit faster, you might get rid of some of those extra pounds. <laughs> I think your need is greater than mine, Robert. <sighs> Phew! That sun's hot. I can just see a little trickle of perspiration on your brow, Jenny. Good girl. Well, we've reached it. Fairy Glen. See the dripping well, Robert? You can make a wish if you like. Don't be daft, Jen. You can make a wish if you like. Yes, I think I will. I may be some time. Oh dear. I thought this might happen. What? Turn your back, Jen. Turn your back. What? Don't look. It's one of those nudists. Oh, I don't mind a naked man. There, coming towards us. I see what you mean. <laughs> He's certainly got that all over tan. Disgusting. That's what it is. This is not the nudist beach. It's a wood. He should be properly dressed. I don't want to see his brooch and earrings. Just ignore it, Robert. Shut your eyes. 
OK. Uh, has he passed yet, Jen? Nearly, Robert. OK, you can open your eyes now. Oh, here comes Kim and Sharon with their dog. This'll be interesting. Can't wait to see what happens when the dog sees a naked man. Down, Nelly, down! I'm ever so sorry. She's only been friendly. Nelly! Down, Nelly! Don't do that. Oh, I am sorry. I don't know what's come over her. Mind you, she hasn't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> The dog should be on a lead. And you should be wearing some trousers, old chum. Down, Nelly. Will you please control this animal? It's not her fault. She's just a bit nosy. She's never seen a bloke's tackle before. <laughs> Come on, Nelly. You should be careful where you sniff. You can never be too careful. <laughs> Come on, girl. There's a good girl. Good girl. No. I'll give you a nice bone to gnaw on when we get home. Hello, you two. That would teach him for letting it all hang out in a public place. He won't be doing that again in a hurry. He's a weirdo. He should cover himself up. A lot of families with children come down here. Disgraceful. Yes, you're right, Robert. Report him, Jen. Report him. Yep. As soon as I get back. I'm on it, Robert. I'm on it. Bye, you two. I hope you enjoyed my little story. And don't forget, you can always leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>